The emergency meeting was supposed to be classified. At 6.23 in the morning yesterday, Italy's top volcanic scientists were summoned to an unprecedented closed door session in Rome. No media, no public announcement. Just a room full of experts staring at data that made seasoned researchers go pale. For the first time in modern history, a European volcano has been officially reclassified from monitored threat to national security risk. The reason is simple. Campi Flegre doesn't just threaten to erupt, it threatens to explode. What triggered this emergency reclassification was not a single dramatic event. It was the discovery of something far more sinister, an explosive eruption signature that matches no other volcanic system on Earth. Unlike the slow lava flows of Sicily's Mount Etna or the predictable ash clouds of Iceland, Campi Flegre operates like a massive underground bomb. When it detonates, it does not give warnings measured in weeks or months. It gives warnings measured in hours. The classified report reveals that this hidden caldera has the capacity to launch pyroclastic flows, walls of superheated gas and rock, at speeds exceeding the 400 miles per hour. These are not at the gentle volcanic flows tourists. Photograph from safe distances. These are continent reshaping explosions that can bury entire metropolitan areas in minutes. And the 900,000 people living directly above this system have just become unwilling test subjects in a geological experiment no one wants to see completed. But here is what has emergency planners terrified. If this volcanic system is now classified as an explosive national threat, what does that mean for the millions more living across Southern Europe? How do you evacuate nearly a million people when the warning time might only be hours? And why are government officials suddenly talking about acceptable losses when discussing evacuation scenarios for one of Europe's most populated volcanic regions? Scientists studying Campi Flegre say the danger is not the mountain you can see, it is the explosive system you cannot see. This hidden caldera operates beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions, where nearly a million people live unknowingly above what researchers now classify as the continent's first national security threat. Dr. Giovanni Macedonio of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology says the Campi Flegre volcano is considered a national threat because of the explosive style of its eruptions, which could create an eruptive column rising some 18 miles into the sky. His team's analysis says this is not hyperbole. It is based on documented explosive potential that exceeds any other European volcanic system. Dr. Christopher Kilburn of University College London explains that the current unrest phase has lasted longer and shown greater intensity than any episode since the 1980s. We are seeing deformation rates, gas emissions, and seismic patterns that together suggest the system is approaching a threshold state. His 2016 prediction that major escalation would follow additional ground uplift has proven accurate and that threshold has now been exceeded. Current monitoring data confirms the explosive signature. Ground uplift has reached 1.4 meters since 2005, with recent acceleration to two centimeters per month. Seismic activity has increased to over 1,000 earthquakes per month, and carbon dioxide emissions have spiked to 1,557 tonnes per day, levels comparable to actively erupting volcanoes. These measurements collectively indicate explosive pressure buildup, not gradual volcanic awakening. Here is how the explosive system actually works. When pressurised magma and gas accumulate, Beneath Campi Flegre's sealed caprock, they create a pressure cooker effect. Unlike typical volcanoes that release pressure gradually through vents and fissures, Campi Flegre's geological structure traps energy until it reaches explosive critical mass. Each small earthquake and ground uplift episode adds pressure to a system that has no safe release valve. The process operates like a massive underground explosive device. As pressure builds in multiple interconnected chambers, the system reaches what engineers call coordinated failure potential. 
the point where multiple pressure zones could explode simultaneously. Recent seismic analysis shows pressure concentration across a 15 km network, suggesting the entire caldera could experience explosive decompression as a single catastrophic event. What makes this particularly dangerous is the feedback acceleration now documented by international monitoring agencies. Each pressure increase weakens the caprock further, allowing more rapid pressure accumulation in the next cycle. The system is essentially priming itself for explosive failure, with each episode becoming more intense and occurring at shorter intervals. Current data suggests this acceleration pattern is approaching what researchers call explosive culmination the point where accumulated pressure exceeds the system's ability to contain it through gradual release. History shows what happens when Campi Flegre reaches an explosive threshold. The last eruption in 1538 began with warning signs that unfolded with terrifying speed before culminating in one of the most violent volcanic events in recorded European history. September 19th, 1538. Local fishermen reported the sea boiling near Pozzuoli, with temperatures rising so rapidly that fish died in massive numbers within hours. September 27th brought the first ground tremors, not the gradual rumbles typical of volcanic awakening, but sharp, violent jolts that shattered windows and cracked ancient Roman structures. Witnesses described the earth breathing violently, with ground movement so intense it could be felt across the entire region. By September 29th, the explosive finale began. Unlike typical volcanic eruptions that build gradually over days or weeks, Campi Flegre detonated with shocking suddenness. The explosion tore a hole in the Earth's surface, launching superheated rocks and volcanic bombs across a radius of several kilometers. Pyroclastic flows Walls of superheated gas and debris moving at hurricane speeds swept across the landscape faster than humans could run. In just eight days of continuous explosive activity, the eruption built Monte Nuovo, New Mountain, rising 140 meters from farmland that had been peaceful the week before. The explosive violence was so intense that witnesses described the ground splitting like an earthquake and exploding like thunder simultaneously. Entire villages disappeared under pyroclastic flows and volcanic bombs, with residents having only minutes to flee once the explosive sequence began. What makes this historical precedent terrifying is the scale of modern vulnerability. In 1538, the region was mostly farmland with scattered settlements totaling fewer than 50,000 people. Today, the same explosive zone supports major highways industrial complexes, and dense urban neighbourhoods housing nearly a million residents. The ancient Roman port where merchants once traded has become a modern metropolitan hub, handling massive cargo volumes and international traffic. This is most critical because the 1538 explosion occurred after a build-up period nearly identical to current conditions, including systematic ground uplift, coordinated seismic activity, and pressurised gas release across multiple points. If that explosive pattern repeats with modern population density, the casualty potential would exceed any natural disaster in European history. Every monitoring instrument at Campi Flegre is detecting the same alarming signature. Explosive pressure buildup is accelerating beyond all previous measurements. Ground deformation sensors show systematic uplift across the entire caldera, with recent acceleration indicating pressure concentration rather than gradual release. Thermal imaging satellites detect synchronized heat increases across underground networks, creating temperature patterns identical to explosive preparation phases. Since 2023, seismic monitoring has recorded what scientists describe as distributed pressure concentration, with earthquake swarms forming geometric patterns that suggest coordinated underground organization. Dr. Flora Giudice Pietro's analysis reveals these swarms concentrate along newly formed fracture networks that appear organized by geological forces to focus explosive energy towards specific failure points. The most concerning development is the appearance of explosive precursor signatures 
detected by international monitoring networks. These include pressure wave patterns that match laboratory simulations of whammy patches of catastrophic explosive decompression, systematic underground temperature increases across 15 kilometer networks, and seismic rhythms that indicate coordinated preparation for simultaneous failure across multiple pressure zones. Current gas emission analysis shows carbon dioxide levels reaching 1,557 tonnes per day, comparable to actively erupting volcanoes with open magma conduits. However, Campi Flegre's conduits remain sealed, which means this massive gas production is building pressure rather than releasing it safely. The combination of sealed pressure chambers and explosive gas accumulation creates what volcanologists call critical detonation potential. If Campi Flegre reaches explosive failure, it will not begin with lava flows or gradual ash emissions. It will begin with coordinated detonation across multiple pressure points simultaneously. When the accumulated pressure finally exceeds the Caprox, con Caprox containment capacity, the explosive release will occur at supersonic speeds, creating pyroclastic flows that move faster than aircraft and reach temperatures exceeding 800 degrees Celsius. The initial explosive phase would occur within minutes across the entire caldera system. Pyroclastic flows would race outward from multiple epicenters simultaneously, covering the distance from explosion points to populated areas in under 10 minutes. Buildings, vehicles and infrastructure within a 20 km radius would face impact from superheated debris, moving at speeds that make evacuation impossible once the explosive sequence begins. Within 30 minutes, the infrastructure cascade would cripple southern Italy. Naples International Airport sits directly in the pyroclastic flow path from three identified pressure concentration points. The port of Pozzuoli, handling 2.3 million tonnes of cargo annually, would be destroyed in the initial explosive phase, potentially igniting massive fuel storage facilities and creating secondary disasters. Highway networks connecting Naples to the rest of Italy cross multiple explosive zones where pyroclastic flows would make road travel fatal. The explosive column itself would create immediate regional catastrophe. An 18-mile ash plume would ground all air traffic across southern Europe within hours, stranding millions of travellers and disrupting cargo networks that supply much of the Mediterranean region. The ash column would also trigger its own weather system, creating electrical storms and acid rain that could affect crops and water supplies across multiple countries. Emergency planners estimate that coordinated evacuation of 900,000 residents would require at least 72 hours under ideal conditions. However, explosive volcanic systems typically provide warning times measured in hours, not days, the 1538 eruption gave barely 10 days of escalating activity before explosive culmination, and modern pressure buildup is occurring at accelerated rates that could compress this timeline dramatically. Scientists from Italy's National, Inst National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the European Space Agency, and international volcanic monitoring networks have reached an unprecedented consensus. Campi Flegre represents the first European volcanic system to warrant national security threat classification based on explosive potential alone. Dr Giovanni Macedonio put it bluntly. He said the Campi Flegre volcano is considered a national threat because of the explosive style of its eruptions. There really are no countermeasures to protect yourself from pyroclastic flows that reach temperatures of 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit and move at speeds between 30 and 60 miles per hour. His assessment reflects the scientific community's recognition that traditional volcanic emergency planning is inadequate for explosive systems. The European Space Agency's volcanic monitoring program has designated Campi Flegre as priority one risk, requiring constant satellite surveillance and real-time threat assessment. Their classification notes that the combination of accelerating pressure buildup unprecedented explosive potential and extreme population density represents a volcanic crisis that could affect multiple European nations simultaneously. International, emerg 
international emergency planning agencies have quietly begun updating protocols to address volcanic mass casualty events. Unlike traditional volcanic threats that allow a graduated response, explosive systems require binary decision-making, either immediate mass evacuation or acceptance of catastrophic casualties. For the first time in scientific history, researchers are documenting how a major caldera system transitions from dormant to explosive threat status, providing crucial insights into supervolcano re reactivation patterns that could apply to similar systems worldwide. The explosive mechanism identified at Campi Flegre may exist at other high-risk calderas, including Yellowstone in the United States, Long Valley in California, and Toba in Indonesia. If pressure concentration and coordinated explosive preparation can occur at one major caldera, similar processes could be developing undetected at other supervolcano systems globally. The National Threat designation also reveals the limitations of current volcanic monitoring technology. Traditional surveillance focuses on gradual magma movement and predictable eruption sequences. Explosive systems operate on different timescales and through different mechanisms, requiring entirely new approaches to threat detection and emergency response. Perhaps most significantly, the Campi Flegre crisis has forced recognition that some geological threats exceed human capacity for effective response. When nearly a million people live above an explosive volcanic system that could detonate with minimal warning, the question becomes not how to prevent disaster, but how to minimize casualties when prevention becomes impossible. Campi Flegre's explosive pressure system is accelerating toward critical failure. The classified emergency meeting that reclassified this hidden caldera as a national security threat was based on explosive signature evidence that surpasses any previous volcanic threat assessment in European history. With pressure concentration occurring across multiple underground zones, coordinated seismic preparation patterns, and explosive potential equivalent to strategic weapons, the 900,000 residents living above this system face a geological threat unlike anything in modern experience. The 1538 explosive sequence provides the only historical precedent, and that devastation occurred when the region supported fewer than 50,000 people. Today's population density, combined with accelerated pressure buildup patterns, suggests the next explosive event could exceed all previous natural disasters in terms of immediate casualties and regional impact. What do you think? Are we watching Europe's first supervolcano transition from dormant to explosive threat in real time? Or will the pressure concentration find a way to release safely without catastrophic detonation? If this hidden explosive system does reach critical failure, would Italy's emergency response protocols be able to evacuate nearly one million people with only hours of warning? This is Earth Attacks, where we uncover the hidden forces that could reshape our world overnight. Subscribe and join us on this journey. When a supervolcano is classified as a national threat, the countdown has already started.